I've walked in many lands. The north, the south, and the east. But now, I think it's time that maybe I start walking in the west. Horses are a lot like women. You just need to tell them what to do. Oh! Go! Move it! Oh! Hurry! Ooh! Oh God, that was bad. They're gonna be waiting for us. Mm. Ray or the, the Thomas. Thomas, you were going steady for my favorite, but man, that was very sexist. Oh, God. Oh. Alright, moving on. Oh, hey guys, what's up? Whew. Look at how fast he reloads that. Joom, 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 joom. Pretty damn skippy. I like this music. Reminds me of when I was a little kid. <laughs> Not really sure why. <laughs> I, honestly, I have no idea why. <laughs> but... Sorry, horsies. Horses are like... <laughs> Sorry, asshole, we're fucking dead. Sorry doesn't really cut it. <laughs> I don't know who to shoot. Yeah, let's just shoot this thing. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm not so sure that they, uh, uh quote, gave up. Ah, oh, things are exploding. Oh, God. Oh god. This is actually really bad. You peckerheads can kiss my Peckerheads. You peckerheads. You dumbasses, you blocked your own path. Live by the dynamite, die by the dynamite. Yes, sir. Take the horses, but leave that damn coffin. They won't catch us. Sounds good to me. Oh, Lord in heaven, what have you done? Well, it's not like we had a choice. You just killed a U.S. federal marshal. Don't you know they're gonna hunt you down to the ends of the earth? And I say we go to Mexico. Ha! <laughs> Sunshine and senoritas. Nothing wrong with that. Besides... I've heard tales of an Aztec treasure buried in the hills just outside of Juarez. Well, what about our plan? Rebuilding our family farm, reclaiming our land. That's why I want the treasure, brother. Without gold, that plan is just a fantasy. That's true, that's true. We're never gonna settle down, are we? You're like mad dogs, tearing at each other's throats. By the way, brother, if you ever steal another woman away from me, I swear to God I will take your life. Oh, shit. Understand me. 
What is he wearing? He's wearing some sort of like conquistador like armor shit underneath his jacket. Dear Lord, how do I free my brothers from Satan's embrace? What words do I use to convince them that the Lord loves and forgives them? Now we're on the run to Mexico. Ray is dragging us there to find a mythical treasure, for he believes we can use it to rebuild our family farm. I must continue to preach the truth and turn my brothers towards the light. Because when all is said and done, we are family. We are family, yeah, it's true. Yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Achievement unlocked. Untouchable. Achievement unlocked. Act 1. Let's look at all these. Complete Act 1. Finished a chapter except for uh, b -b -b 6 and 9. 8, I think. Uh, without getting severely wounded. Sweet. Killed all enemies in a single cooperative concentration mode. On chapter 2, you spared the cow. Shot an enemy through a wall. Blow up 10 chickens with dynamite. Ugh. Mm, wasn't that fun. Alright, we're gonna watch this cutscene and then we're gonna call it quits for a little while. Running River said. Whoa. Oh God! Running River gathers a tribal council, but won't listen to our council. I don't need advice from old women who have forgotten how to fight. You say the treasure is cursed. I say it belonged to the ancient ones, our ancestors, and it is the source of power. It is the people of this land who were given the key to the secret place. So Running River will wage a war on the white man. He will use the sacred medallion to buy many rifles. Puma's Pa asks, who will sell us these rifles? The whites? Perhaps we can ask them to shoot themselves as well. Puma's Pa has no teeth anymore. What? And meows like a kitten. In the south, where the treasure is hidden, live a people who hate the white coyotes as much as we do. They will sell us the weapons. Okay. It is beyond the mountains and across the great river. Who will venture on this journey? My son, Shajam, seen father. He speaks the language of the whites, as did his mother. My son, it is time for you to prove that you are one of us. By causing a war? Annihilation upon our people? Zuko! Seeing farther deserves his name. And maybe he deserves to be called coward. Imbayabishan. No one, not even the great Apache chief running river, will call me a coward. Then prove your worth. Prove you're an Apache. Beyond. All right, father. I will journey south and find someone to sell us these rights. Zuko. You will have your war. He sounds like Zuko. Running River does not respect the creator or those who remember his childhood. He wants to take the medallion from its place of safety and bring the life giver's wrath down on his people. It won't be Running River who makes the sacrifice, but his tribe and his son. Puma Paw has spoken. Puma Paw. Running River has spoken. Prepare for war. I really hate to break it to you guys, but you fucking lose. Like, damn, do you ever lose. And looking back on it now, kind of sucks that we had to do that. But, uh, yeah, you lose. You lose. Pretty damn bad. Pretty damn bad, yeah. Mexico. 
What a godforsaken Oh Ray heard tales of a great Aztec treasure hidden in the foothills near the border town of Juarez. It was said to be cursed, and that all who seek it will find only madness. The locals call this greedy fever the Call of Juarez. Ray laughed off the curse and convinced Thomas that we could use this treasure to rebuild our life and our home back in Georgia. We were talking about this very subject in a little cantina near San Lorenzo, when my brothers first laid eyes on her. On her? She looked like an angel. Looks can be deceiving. Was she a devil? <laughs> oh boy. 1866, present time. The promise of that treasure has attracted a shitload of lowlifes looking for easy money. Are you talking about us, little brother? Jeez. That treasure is nothing but a fairy tale. There's only one decent way for God-fearing people to make their fortune. With hard work and sacrifice. It's true. That's true. Or we can find some rich son of a bitch and put a gun to his head. You're drunk. I'm getting there. Tomorrow we'll buy some equipment and start our search. We've got a lot of ground to cover. Right now, though, I just need a little more tequila and a woman of questionable moral character. <laughs> a woman of questionable moral character. Sounds okay, I guess. Ooh, she's so hot. I guess. She's kind of animated, so... I guess to him, because they're both animated. So they're like, oh yeah, animated. Look at him checking out that keister. Who the hell is that? You're about to find out. What you hurry, little lady? Baboso. <laughs> Mr. Devlin, I'd like to see you. What if I don't want to see him? Uh. He wants to see you today, senorita, in his bed, wearing nothing but a smile. Pendejo! Ooh. Spit in the face! But he never buys a bear unless it's already broke in, so maybe I should take you for a ride and knock some of the fight out of you. Ooh, he went... Straight for the boob grab. You little whore. Oh shit. There you go, Ray. That's good. Standing up for women's rights, right? Yeah. He's like, nah, <laughs> I just didn't want him to fuck her. <laughs> Thomas. I like Thomas better than Ray. Two guys just killed Bull in the saloon. Ooh, this is a bouncing beat. Yeah, but we're not doing anything. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, as always. Uh, I will be recording more episodes. I think I'll probably start recording again tomorrow. Uh, so, hopefully I can get this first game done in about two weeks. I hear it's pretty long, but if I just work at it, and I'll be producing a lot of content a day. So... Try and keep up if you can. <laughs> um, I'll try and keep up also. But uh, other than that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I mean, hit the like button. It, it means a lot to me, and it shows me that you guys like this, and I will keep producing content. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say. Have a good day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this. Just enjoy yourself. Adios, amigo.